All right, my dudes. Hello, welcome back to another Royal video. I'm gonna have to adjust this microphone here a bit. If I just oh shit. So yes, hello, welcome back to another Rivals video. Today, I will in fact be doing some ladder games with uh, Cam Trooper and Scorpion Tank because I like the idea of Cam Trooper because you know <laughs> Chuggy is shit now. It is fallen off a cliff since the last time anybody used it so we can now use the cam trooper a bit more and i believe there's like one of the strongest combinations with none so coincidentally it's pretty good i think that's fucking great Three, two, one. New objective received. all right so of course the plan is to put out a tank and cam troopers Hence why it's called Cam Trooper Tank. But of course, to do that requires a lot of resources, so I'm just gonna have to be careful here and not die. <laughs> obvious to some, but not obvious to me, not every day. Because sometimes I die quite often. So I'm not gonna make a Chem Trooper yet. If he makes another Shock Trooper, okay, now I can make one. And this is just purely for investment. If he goes and makes a different uh, counter to my deck, to my units that I put out, then I might be in trouble if it's an air unit or something like that. I really hoped that would have blocked. Alright, now the second step is to get the tank out. Pretty important component, personally. Some people might have a different opinion, but I think that it's quite necessary for the setup. And I am I'm in fact set up. I can gladly put my count troopers at front, have them tank, and my actual tank can do a bit of chip damage while my count troopers are the main anti infantry killers. Or rather, infantry killers, because anti-infantry killers would imply that there were no anti-infantry units in the game. I apologise. I'm previously against anti-infantry units in this game! <laughs> Said no one ever. But regardless, I'm gonna have to get a bounty up. Can I just... Okay. Feels the best, man. Objective complete. Battlefield control. Three, two, one. New objective. All right. Now we have this map, which I think is called Open Water. It's one of two maps that I remember the name of. And I know I will not learn all the maps because I can't be asked. But this map, I do believe I know the name of. If I am incorrect, that's a shame. But I do remember that no one asked even. So it wouldn't really matter if I got it right. Regardless, though, this is going to make it a lot easier to get the setup going. Because of the pads being close together, I won't need to think much about where I place my units. I did just make three militants as well, which is a massive, massive mistake. But you know what? And maybe I'm prepared to make those mistakes. I will soldier on, and I will win, because that's what I'm good at. Being the typical Rivals player as well, and going straight after the Harvester. Are you just going to walk in? Yeah, that helps, man. Yeah, by all means, walk in. Not the greatest drop pod that I've ever seen. Come on then! Come on then, what you got, mate? Ooh, what you got, mate? Uh, I'll try and refrain from violently convulsing in my chair in case some of you may think that I'm having a seizure, which is never good. 
By the way, I have actually had a seizure before. Fun fact. All right, game two down. You are the telefield control. Three, two, one. New mission received. Go, go. Mert. Not a particularly creative name, I must assume. But, you know, there could be some meaning behind it that I'm not aware of. That's typically how it goes. So I won't make any predisposition to, uh, assumptions about the uh, reasoning behind putting that particular name on, his, on this person's account. But regardless, I will judge them for their skill. It's probably going to be better than mine. I think I'll, I think I'll make that. I'll, I'll, bet, I'll bet a lot of my currencies of various descriptions to say that it is in fact better than my skill, because my skill is fucking terrible. <laughs> I set the lowest bar possible with this. With this. Oh, what's that? Oh, you want to get on the pads, mate? You want to get pads, mate? Insane. Imagine wanting to get on the pads. Insane. Truly. I am, in fact, insane. I lost all my sanity ages ago. Yes. Not clinically insane. Not yet, anyway. But I am getting there. Uh, using a pathetic talent to try and kill my infantry. Particularly humorous, my dude. I appreciate the effort, though. Ah, uh, you thought I forgot about your talent, eh? Hey? <laughs> Don't think so. Yep. I'll let you kill them elephants. I'll give you that. Yeah. By my decree that I have given to myself, I will let you kill my elephants. Put a laser there. So that he can't come around the back pad. And then put a tank out because I want to flex. Boost it. Because inflexing is indeed the right way to go about these things. And then uh, put things on the middle pad and win. That's, uh, that's how this is going to get wrapped up. Wow. Amazing. What a fantastic shot skill here. Oh, I'm quite happy with this. Oh, jolly good, sir. You're jolly good, sir, yes. I'm not doing any more impressions for this video. <laughs> it's quite embarrassing. Whoosh! Instant birth. But you've never seen it, have you? Insane. Right. What has my opponent brought for me for sacrifices? Oh, laser drones. We might have a laser drone venom player, yes. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Come back here, mate. Stop being a pussy. Hey. Hey. Stop running away, mate! What are you doing? Exactly! Shut up! <laughs> oh my god, game. I'll just make a tonk here. That's it. Destroy them. Yeah, you see, like, you see twice my opponent tried to go around the top. It's because I am all seeing, in fact. I have eyes in the back of my head and in the sides, but I have them shut at the moment. Because, you know, that would be pretty gross and freaky if you saw them. If any of you have saw them, in fact, I doubt there is one person who would think, damn, that's a particularly handsome looking individual while they're staring at my hundreds of eyes in my head. And I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to I'm coming back to Dawn of the Dragons again with that fucking, um, there was, okay. So, when I, I just, I made that joke, and I think, damn, that reminds me of a certain boss from uh, Dawn of the Dragons. It's, uh, but Dawn of the Dragons was a browser game, in case you didn't know. And uh, one of the bosses there, I don't even remember what it was called, but it had, like, loads and loads of eyes in every bit of its skin. So, it was like an eldritch horror monster or whatever. And, uh, yeah. It was not a bad boss. I don't even remember what it was supposed to drop or why you had to hit it, but it, 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 it existed. You know, it was there. And since um, editing this video, 
I have tracked down uh, why Dawn of the Dragons was removed from the developer's website and st stopped altogether. Um, and it has made me a bit sad, honestly. Um, it was a good browser game. I really enjoyed it. But anyway, you know, that, that's just that's just a thing. Let's get back to the funny video. People knew of it. Maybe not for any particular reason, but it's probably because they wanted to hit it for some gear. God, I missed Donald the Dragons. It was it was pretty good, cool browser game, to be honest. I really do. Anyway, back to Rivals, and I just won the game. Wow. So happy with myself. God, another Oxana. Damn. I wonder how Oxana feels having to fight her genetically identical clones all the time. It must be a pretty harrowing experience. But then again, Kane was cloned a lot of times, so I don't know. It might be fine. Might. Big might there. Damn. Makes me want to try Marmite. I might have some Marmite. Come on, fanatics, there you go. I mean, he's going to want to boost his bikes. Not an issue for me, because I have more bikes than he does. That's a lot of bikes. We gotta deal with all them bikes, man. Kind of expensive with all of that gold on them. Nothing I could, nothing I can't steal, really. I mean, like, look at me. I, I, I have gold bikes myself. Don't you think I could have uh, gained possession of, of them in a somewhat not so legal way? That's what I assume, anyway. How do I assume? Because I don't even remember. Can I move? I, uh, apparently, I didn't have to move. Uh, that's that's good. You know, I would have been uh, quite annoyed had the unit not moved and I lost the missile. That would have not been a very good thing that happened. I must admit. Go on the tile. Go on the tile. Don't go on the tile. Dude, you're gonna start, bro. Yeah. So dedicated. I think I'm gonna have to take more, a little, you know, creative liberty with this. Uh, Cheers, mate! I enjoyed your business. I didn't mean to take a breath there. I totally knew what I was going to say before I even said it. I have a billion IQ, don't you know? That's why I wear glasses. I lost my sight years ago, but in return, I had intellect. All right, thanks. there you go. That, that is five games with the uh, Game Trooper tank deck, you know? What do I have to say with it? It's not the best Kevin Trooper tank deck. Quite particularly shocking, I imagine, but I'm trying to cover all bases here. But, uh, you know, you could swap this out for a Phantom. And it would work quite well. Um, I never really made Banshee. It's not really a surprise, considering how bad it is. But, uh, you know, if you want an air-to-air unit, you, you pick a Phantom. Like, that is my... Full suggestion to anyone who wants to have an air to air unit. And if you don't have it, what are you doing? Why are you not spending four to five hours on this game every day? Quite despicable. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you have enjoyed yourself at home. And I will see you next time.
Goodbye.